My name's uh, Ian Schoons. I'm based at the Institute of Development Studies and uh, coordinator of the Future Agricultures Consortium. And one of my other roles is to be a science advisor to, to ILRI, which is uh, an exciting job I took on last year. We've just finished an important conference on the future of pastoralism in Africa, and indeed this is one of the areas that ILRI, or in its predecessors ILCA, was a, a major leader of in, in, in the past, particularly in the 1980s and 1990s. And to some extent, it's, it's slightly dropped off the, the research agenda, and one that I think is, is uh, a, a gap in, in uh, ILRI's research portfolio currently. This is, if we're talking about livestock, and, and livestock as a driver of economic growth uh, and uh, poverty reduction, and the creator of livelihoods, pastoralism must be part of, of, of Ilri's research agenda into the future. And I think one of the things that uh, has emerged out of this conference is that the technical, economic and other expertise that Ilri has, and indeed the history of Ilri research, um, can be an enormous contributor to that. A number of things were raised. Produc the production of uh, production issues in pastoral areas was a major concern of uh, livestock animal scientists and, and range ecologists in the past. But again, the, the uh, research in this area somewhat dropped off. But there's an enormous need if this economic growth is to be sustained, and it is substantial, places like Ethiopia with very, very significant exports, cross-border, formal and informal, uh, a big driver of, of economic growth. Um, if this is to be sustained, uh, technical research at that production end uh, needs to be sustained. But it needs to be focused on pastoral areas, pastoral production systems and the conditions that, that, are, that arise, which are different to livestock production systems in humid or subhumid areas. The other area that I think emerged in the conference, which I think Ilri could engage with very productively, is the idea, the broader idea of innovation and technical innovation. What we see in pastoral systems as they're adapting to challenges of climate change, market dynamics, and so on, is an enormous process of innovation and adaptation by pastoralists themselves. Uh, we had a whole session yesterday on pastoral innovation systems where people are adapting to new market systems, uh, camel milk marketing from the remotest corners of, of Somali region here in Ethiopia being exported within the day across the, to the Arabian Peninsula. Extraordinary export trade with value addition to the pastoral economy. This is being done currently without any external support. Um, I don't know the exact details of the Ilri's research portfolio. I would guess that there isn't much research on camels and probably no research on camel milk production. I stand to be corrected, of course, as science advisor. But that would be my guess. It hasn't been the case in the past. I suspect it hasn't been the case here. But here's an opportunity for interesting work uh, from, from areas of food safety through to... Um, uh, milk processing, to marketing, to value chain addition, where Ilri and its scientists could have enormous impact. So I think there's a, a great opportunity for Ilri scientists to engage with innovators outside the formal scientific research system who are pastoralists themselves. We often have this idea of the CG being the upstream research uh, part of the research system, passing down its technical innovations downstream. That's important for some areas. I, I don't deny that that's a, a pattern of innovation that, that's been significant. But actually, to engage, for scientists to engage downstream with innovations and innovation processes that are going on on the ground would be an important addition to the portfolio of research within the Institute as it moves forward.